Welcome back guys, what's cooking? Today, we're making chalupas. So I began with adding three pounds of ground beef. I used an 80-20 blend. You could do a leaner um, for less fat. It's totally up to you. Use chicken, use steak, whatever your preference is. Now what you really want to do is try to break up that meat really, really good because it won't help you if you have those big old chunks. So all this water has now came out of the ground beef. I'm gonna use it to kind of help me break everything down. I'm gonna let it go until all the water is evaporated and if I have too much fat, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Now I'm adding some um, diced up onion. If you don't like onion, you can leave it out, but I definitely recommend you try it. So after adding in the onions, we're gonna go ahead and let that go for three minutes until all the onions st start to sweat and release its flavor in it. And that way we know that they're, the majority of the onions are cooked. After they are translucent and they look nice and almost done, let's talk about some taco seasoning. And as you see here, before we go on to taco seasoning, I let my meat brown up just a little bit because I feel that that little um, caramelization of the meat adds way so much flavor than just the boiled um, ground beef. Okay, so for taco seasoning, I have my own. I'm going to go ahead and leave it down in the description for you guys. Um, what I used from flour and the spices and the seasonings. Okay guys, so here I'm gonna add some water. Um, as I mentioned before, I did use a little bit of flour in the seasoning mix to kind of grab up all that grease remaining and make myself a little gravy. So that when I go to serve my tacos, the ground beef is not super dry. All right, so let's talk about um, our outer shells. If you wanna do some fry bread, if you wanna do them by scratch with flour, I will definitely leave for you down in the description some links that I have found, and they look delicious as well, but honestly, I was feeling a bit lazy, and I have also done this in the past many, many times, and I find that this is as delicious as if I was doing it by scratch. So this is just the Greek pita bread that I find at either Walmart or my grocery store. And I just fry it up and it honestly gives me the shortcut of kneading dough and dealing with that mess. So if you are feeling like me, I definitely recommend the brand that I showed you. And all we're gonna do is add some oil to the pan, um, wait till, um, it's ready to fry if not that just that pita bread is gonna soak up all that oil and that's not what we want okay so um, do it on both sides and as you see I'm not doing it for a very long time because it will burn really fast Now it's confession time. <laughs> This is embarrassing, but um, I'm going to confess to you guys something. Before, when I used to make chalupas um, at my mom's house, I would always go to Taco Bell, buy like two tacos, and pack a bunch of sauce inside a bag because it was chalupa night. <laughs> 
<laughs> and um, I have, uh, I think, like last year, discovered that they actually sell sauce. <laughs> so you best believe this time I just bought myself my sauce. Okay, so it's stacking time. Um, as you saw, I chopped up some lettuce, some tomatoes, the basic stuff, um, my shredded cheese, my sour cream. For my chalupas, you can add or take away whatever you guys want. You can make a bomb Mexican salsa. You could make a picadillo. But I honestly, I just like um, simple and I love Taco Bell chalupas. I'm not going to lie. So I just wanted it to taste like Taco Bell today and um yeah there you go there you have it try out this recipe you guys remember everything is down in the description below para todos mis amigos que están mirando mi video esta es una receta de chalupas y no se preocupen no me olvide de ustedes saben que toda la descripción va a estar en español abajo en este video para que ustedes también puedan hacer estas ricas chalupas en su casita muchísimas gracias a todos por estar aquí por mirar mis videos una vez más un besote que todos estén contentos que todos estén felices que todos den amor I love you guys thank you so much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it um, as much as I did making it for you guys I love you guys and remember love 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 and never forget that love it's just so simple and so easy, and that's what we could do. Take care of your health. Take take sorry. Take care of your mental health, most importantly, and um, keep cooking, guys. Next time, Mwah.